Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today we are going to make this absolutely stunning coffee slash fall inspired tumbler. And it merely was just based on these decals that I saw from Gracefully Created. And when I saw them, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So everything that I used will be listed and linked in the description box below. And don't forget to check my website for all tumblers that are available for sale. Today we're going to use a 32 ounce travel mug from the Tipsy Magnolia. We're going to use this Carrots Glitter from Chase Recreations and those gorgeous decals from Gracefully Created. So we're going to start by sanding down our tumbler just to kind of rough up that surface so that our paint and epoxy and all of that stuff has something that it can really adhere to. Once that tumbler is all sanded, we're going to spray it down with some 91% alcohol and wipe off any of that residue that may be left from sanding. ahead and base paint my tumbler. I'm using Pearl Copper Gold from Arteza, but really you can use any acrylic paint, spray paint that's in the same kind of color scheme as what your glitter is going to be. Now I decided after the fact that I wanted to remove that booty on the tumbler. So I'm going to show you here on another tumbler how I do that. So I just go ahead and take a um, flat tip screwdriver and generally I use a hammer here but I could not find it. <laughs> so I was really beaten on that screwdriver there with my scissors and eventually it popped free. But that base just pops right out and then your little booty is exposed for an awesome glitter booty. So as always, I'm gonna go in with my epoxy method to glitter today. So I just take a little bit of epoxy and spread it very thinly and evenly across the entire tumbler. Once we get that epoxy all spread out, we're gonna go in with our carrots glitter. And this glitter is absolutely stunning. It is so, so sparkly. And <laughs> I mean, the video really doesn't even do it justice, but I was like in complete awe when I saw it on this tumbler. So highly recommend. <laughs> it is from Chase Ray Creations. I of course have a discount code for you there as well. So we're gonna get that applied evenly all over the tumbler. Once we get that glitter all applied, we're gonna go in with two coats of our favorite epoxy. Mine, of course, is KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some masking tape. So I'm gonna do kind of like a grunge method here a little bit. So I'm gonna tape off the top and bottom of the tumbler just because I don't want any paint to go there so I can easily distress once we get our paint on the tumbler. Gonna go ahead and tape off that handle because I want all of that glitter to show <laughs> at this point I'm trying to figure out how to get as much of the glitter showing as possible if I'm being completely honest but still getting the effect of what I had envisioned for the tumbler Once 
once we get that all taped off, I'm gonna take Vintage Lace and Princess Cut, both from Color Shot, and I'm going to spray the entire tumbler with that Vintage Lace and then just kind of spurt on that Princess Cut over top of it. Once that's all dry, we're gonna go ahead and take a chip brush with a little bit of black acrylic paint just so that we can create somewhat of a birch effect here. And I'm just gonna brush that all over the tumbler, being sure not to get too much paint on my brush. You'll see I do um, get a little bit too much here on the bottom, but I knew I was gonna distress the tumbler anyway, so I was gonna come up into that area with my um, alcohol and acetone. So I wasn't too concerned with that placement. Once we get that all on the tumbler, we're gonna remove all of that masking tape, or painter's tape, not masking tape, painter's tape. <laughs> Now to distress, I'm gonna take my acetone first and I'm gonna kind of pull from that glittered section up into the paint to create that kind of rough edge and look that I'm going for here. So I'm gonna do that around the whole top and the bottom of the tumbler with my acetone. as much or as little of this as you want on this tumbler. I wanted majority of it to be painted, but I still wanted to expose some of that glitter as I, you know, as much as I could without losing the effect. So I went ahead and took my acetone as you can see here and just kind of brushed over little spots on the tumbler to expose a little more of that glitter. Once we finish with the acetone, we're now gonna take the rubbing alcohol, and as you can see here, it just really like cleans it up. It removes all that excess paint, and it just really shines up your entire tumbler, or all of the spots that you would remove the paint from. You really wanna take your time here and be sure you do get any of that excess paint off, because once you epoxy over it, it's gonna be in there, <laughs> and you're not getting it off after the fact. So really take your time here, being sure that you get any of those paint smudges and get those lines cleaned up as best as possible. And then we're just gonna go in with one thin coat of epoxy to shine up our tumbler. Now I'm super bummed, I'm not sure what happened, but I lost the first half of the footage. By lost, I mean I must have just missed the button when I pushed record, but luckily I realized, so I applied a majority of the decals already, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you here after I realized I was not recording how I went ahead and applied this decal over the curve, which really is the most important one for you to know about. <laughs> So I went ahead and cut out that decal, and these are all from Gracefully Created. And I went ahead and cut slits in those little leafy areas to kind of give me some room and flexibility with that decal for it to smooth over that curve. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that backing. And as you see here, I'm gonna start by pushing down right in that center and then kind of brush out with my thumbs to kind of press down and remove any of those bubbles and it goes on so smoothly. So cutting those little like cuts through the 
decal itself helps you get a really smooth and seamless application on those curves. And as I'm looking at it here, I'm realizing it looks good, but I feel like it's just not complete. So I went ahead and took some of those decals and I actually cut them in half because I'm gonna go ahead and apply them in some bare spots on the top and the bottom. Once we get those all applied, we're going to go in with one coat of our favorite epoxy. Again, mine is KS Resin Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy, and it comes in multiple sizes, and so you can buy a small one to try it out, or just go, like I do, and buy the big old massive gallons of it. <laughs> so once that epoxy's cured, I'm going to take this adorable decal from Made by Manny and Mal Digital Collective. And it is fueled by coffee and sparkle. I mean, it's just perfect. <laughs> so I went ahead and I'm doing a double layer offset here. So my first layer is going to be black, my second layer is gonna be white, and then my top layer is going to be this olive, oh, I believe it's holographic um, vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft. And it is so pretty because it has kind of that rainbow shift and I just absolutely love it. So the little A gave me a little bit of a headache, but I just went ahead and removed it and applied it right to the next layer so I just didn't have to fuss with it anymore. I will say this uh, SVG does have a lot of little weeding pieces and you can either do as I do and just weed it on the mat itself or you can apply it to the next layer and weed it once it's on the tumbler. But I went ahead and just, it was weeding nicely for me, so I did it right off of the backing, but you can do it either way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that middle layer, the white, and we're gonna layer that right over top of the black. Now I'm gonna apply these two layers to the tumbler first, because with holographic vinyl, and on such a big decal like this, I want to lay each one individually, but I didn't want a chance of anything bubbling when I moved it to the tumbler, so I just went ahead and applied those first two layers and then applied the green once it was on the tumbler and in small little sections. I realized I missed a little um, spot there on the and, they were so tiny. Now we're gonna go ahead with our glitter booty. So I've got these super cute, um, I think they're tags is what they're called for Mizzy Doodles. And this one actually has the ring that goes around in that outer ring area, and then the Tumblr logo tag in the middle. So this is my first time using them. I was giving them a shot and I will tell you, I loved it. So I went ahead and took my black paint pen and I'm just going ahead and painting right over those letters so that they really pop once you flip it around and apply it to the tumbler. Now I'm gonna take 
take some UV resin and I'm just gonna fill in that little outer ring. I'm filling it in so that we can go ahead and cure it and give our outer circle, if you will, somewhere to sit on. So I just went ahead and cured that for 60 seconds and then I took my X-Acto knife and removed that like backing piece or protective layer that's over top of the front. And I just set that right on to that UV resin that was already cured. And I didn't show myself putting the UV resin over top for that to sit on. So I do apologize, there is raw UV resin underneath there as well. Now I'm gonna take my Emerald City Glitter from Peachy Olive Glitters and put it in with a little bit of that UV resin so we can fill in that center void there. And I don't have a lot here. It's a pretty thin layer, just enough to kind of cover that bottom so that we can have a glittery base. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my little lighter and I'm just gonna run that right over that resin to pop any of the bubbles that may be living in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our UV lamp and we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Once that's all cured, we're gonna go ahead and take that protective layer off the top of our logo decal and I'm just gonna put a little bit of resin right in the center there and I'm gonna stick my logo tag in the center and I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds once that's all cured this is very repetitive I know <laughs> once that's all cured we're gonna go ahead and take our UV resin and I'm going to kind of fill that area with some more resin and I'm just going to rub that all around, be sure everything is covered before I go ahead and do my final cure, which will be for 120 seconds. And I am obsessed. You guys have to go get some of these tags. They are so cute. Now we're gonna go in with our final two coats of epoxy and our tumbler is all finished. And here it is. I absolutely love this tumbler. It is so perfect. There is literally nothing I would change. <laughs> Generally, I'm really, really critical of my work, but this one, I truly love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, all those things really help me out. And I hope you were able to gain some inspiration from this tutorial. This is such a fun, perfect fall, Thanksgiving time Tumblr. And go ahead and stay tuned, subscribe. I have a fun Christmas series coming up of some of my favorite products. Have a good rest of your weekend.